mode, beast mode Give me those beats, I eat those All day, I don't sleep, no I don't even know what I got sheets for Them pillowcases and bed frames I'll not take that, don't need those all right, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the Gentleman TV and welcome to our biggest video ever, 500,000 VC. I've been told I needed to do something to, you know, top off my 1,000 subscribers, to, you know, go into 2K14 with something a little bit crazy. I don't think any of you expected this. So let's get right into this guys, this is going to be a long ass video, whether you're watching the highlights right now or the full version, I hope you guys leave it a like, hope you guys leave it a, you know, nice helpful comment, if you didn't enjoy the video, leave some constructive criticism, don't leave hate guys, this uh, this took a lot of time, money and effort, so I hope you guys enjoy this, alright let's get into this, so we're going to be doing purple, gold, 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 is the um, is the style I want to go with this for 500,000 VC, starting out with Kurt Rambis, I remember back when Kurt Rambis was my, uh, was my boy back in my team. I've been doing a lot of thinking about my team. This, this is coming a little bit out of the blue, but I wanted to share this in this video. I thought this would be a good time where I'm going to have a lot of time to talk to you guys about uh, what I think. So, um, back, you know, back when I was a kid, and, like, the number one thing that I wanted, when I would get my allowance, when I would do my chores and stuff, I'd get my money, and I would always spend it on basketball cards. Now, I think, like, like 2K and Ultimate Team, like, or EA Ultimate Team, like, I think they've really hit a game mode that people can connect to with this. And I, like I said, this is coming a little bit out of the water. I want you guys to post in the comments what you have to say about that. Because I'm actually... Oh, 2K. 2K. Don't be cheesing on me. Giving me Nick Anderson again. We start off with a gold legend right there. Come on, man. Anyway, post in the comments how you think this kind of reminds you of, you know, getting those cards... Uh, yeah, I'd always remember it. There was a store. I'm not sure if any of you knew it was called KB toys And uh, when I was like six or seven we would go there because they had this special like card pack that you could get all these different cards And oh Steve Kerr Steve Kerr is a three-point legend um, Yeah, but you could get all these cards and I remember it was I, that's what I always spent always always spent all my money on so that was that was something that I was thinking of earlier that was kind of cool with this and um i know a lot of other people have elaborated on that and i want to see what you guys have to say to what you fans have to say about that and uh, i honestly i'm very interested in hearing what you guys have to say about that what's your opinion on it because um i was actually thinking about that for a while uh so yeah anyway post in your post in the comments what you think about that um i think that was uh that was something that was definitely very interesting to think about for me Alright, so we are on a purple, I believe. Sorry if we're not on a purple. I kind of forgot real quick. I'm trying to write down um, timestamps for this. Uh, I'm trying to keep track of this so I can do my highlights video correctly. So I apologize for any uh, pauses and commentary or whatever. Also, guys, um, this is going to be like a three-hour long commentary. This isn't going to be some like short, short, stupid thing. Like This thing's going to be long as hell. So I'm I'm prepared. I'm ready to go. Uh, sit back, enjoy yourselves for a while. This is gonna be a long pack opening. And then um, 500,000 VC was. I I ended up buying most of the VC. I I can't I can't go and save up that much VC because first of all that takes forever. I would rather go and instead of sitting here in my basement for what like hundreds of hours farming VC I can go out and I can do some work and I can go earn the money because let's be honest let's let's say there wasn't a VC glitch and you're saying like for these pack openings like oh that's cheap buying VC you know that's I don't why would you do that that's that you suck at this game if you're buying VC now I feel like it's gotten to a point with the sh with the shake and bake VC glitch and with all these different ways of farming VC, that buying VC isn't really that bad, especially if you're doing it for something like this, where you're doing it for YouTube, you want to do something for the fans. Like, this is the first time, by the way, guys, I've ever bought VC. So, like, I was never one to buy VC, and uh, the Shake, I feel like the reason 2K hasn't patched Shake's glitch yet is only because it's probably inspiring so many people to go and buy VC, because, like, you know, the shake glitch is fast, it'll get you some VC and stuff, but it's not fast enough. It's never fast enough. You know, this we just always want everything to be faster. That's that's how things are. 
and the faster way is just you know buying it so i think that's become a way that a lot of people have kind of gone with and so i think i think 2k is kind of right for not going and patching it i think that's a way that they can earn some money is by just kind of leaving it and then i think that's gotten a lot more people to play my team it's gotten i'm not sure how many people post in the comments if you use shakes glitch to like go for any other um any other game modes because honestly the most i've heard or all i've heard has really just been for my team i'm not sure if people use it on their my career players i'm guessing they do because you see some pretty tricked out people in blacktop uh you don't see many you know absolute scrubs in blacktop anymore unless it's people who really just got the game anyway though i think that's pretty interesting um I know there's so many people now who use it. What's that? That video is almost up to like 500,000 views. Maybe it is. I got a VC for every uh, view. And by the way, guys, and I may be incorrect about this, but 500,000 VC is the third highest ever, I think, ever documented on YouTube. I'm, I'm going to get that fact out of the way. The highest ever documented on YouTube because I think we had... Um, we had Shakes Million, but before that, there was this, like, a very fishy panda guy. Um, somebody pointed him out to me. I thought I was the second highest when I did this, uh, or when I was going to do this. But, yeah, he has a million. Oh, Clint Richardson. Um, he has a million VC pack opening. So, he does beat me. There are two one millions. There are no 750,000s. No, there's there's the millions, and then there's me. So, I'm, I'm chilling here in third. I don't care. I get a bronze medal. I can be like Jim King, <laughs> me and Tony Bennett chilling as bronzes, no, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, I think this is definitely, it's definitely kind of cool, it, it's kind of a cool thing to be like, wow, I was, I was the third highest, if you guys know about any other videos, um, just link them to me, I'll, I'll make sure to go watch those, because I actually want to see, is there somebody who's, uh, done a bigger pack opening than me, and I would love to check that out because I, I love watching pack openings and seeing, you know, watching them live right now is actually awesome. Watching on my TV. Yeah, but watching somebody, uh, watching somebody's huge pack openings, that's cool. Anybody who saw Shake's, uh, 300,000 VC pack opening, he got that through some glitch that got patched, what, like eight hours later? Like, there's a lot of these pack openings that you'll see, like, they were, like, made through, like, glitches that people found and then 2K patched them so quick. I don't know how that happens if there's some like somewhere in the rewriting of the code if they mess something up and that allows you know it, it allows something to be able to be abused kind of in a way of uh manipulation to get more vc i don't know what it is but um it's helped out a lot of people obviously and ah bill cartwright so we're really struck we really have not had a great start to this i'm hoping we get at least one new gold legend we've gotten nick anderson but i mean nick anderson is not what we're looking for seeing that i already have him i'm like brown's not what i'm looking for not looking what dwight howard's looking for either obviously <laughs> Ugh, all right so let's try to get some good people right here i've been talking for long enough about god knows what let's get back into these gold packs we got two more then we're heading back into a purple and so i had like I pretty much have like my wish list down like my my christmas list i'm sending this into the 2k sand i'm sending this into ronnie and uh pretty much right now my number one is shack i've said that in so many videos actually number one's probably no number one probably is shack uh, i'd put my number two easily at alan iverson um those two are sort of sort of tied for the one and two spot but i like to put shack above because anybody watching my videos knows i have a lot of guards right now so bringing in a big man is very important to me. So after Shaq, AI, you know, you got Sean Kemp for me. And Sean Kemp's just an absolute monster. That's why I want to pull him in here. And if we can get Sean Kemp, that would be absolutely sick. I would be so hyped to get Sean Kemp. Um, I also wouldn't mind getting, uh, oh, Robert Horry. <laughs> I thought Robert Horry might be more than a silver. Robert Horry is pretty nice though. I'm not sure if I'm going to use him. I'm, I might check Robert Horry out. Um, let's go check out Robert Horry's stats because I want to see. Ooh, I want to see what uh, Robert Horry is. Hold up. Let's go into uh, uh, players. And let me go into silvers. That's going to be. Oh, can I even. All right, wait. Hold up. Let me find Robert Horry real quick. 
Oh my god, I'm going crazy. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, Robert Horry, he's pretty good. He's got an 84 shot inside. That doesn't beat a lot of my guys, but, um, mm, yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to find, ah, he's probably not going to find a spot in this lineup. I don't know. I was giving him a chance. I was giving him a chance. Oh, jeez, what was I even just talking about? I don't even know where I am in my, uh, golds. I think I'm about to do a purple, though. Oh, anyway, so back to my wish list. Um, so obviously, I've got like Wilt and Bill Russell up there. And I've got a few other centers like Hakeem. Um, who else is there? Patrick Ewing would be kind of cool to get. So there's there's still a lot of guys. Oh, Jim King is, of course, at the top of my list. Son of a bitch. Um, and I feel like I can get at least one of those guys. One to three of them. If, if I can get one to three of those guys during 500,000 BC, that's really all I'm looking for. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And uh, that's really, that's not a ton to ask for, in my opinion. I think that's a reasonable amount of legends to ask for. I don't think you're, I'm pushing the boundaries. I just bought 500,000, or most of 500,000 VC from 2K. I think they can toss me a few nice gold legends in here. Marcus Thornton, is Marcus Thornton the one that, he's either the one that's worth like 650, or like, no, he might be worth like 3,000. So, uh, all right, we made, we're making slight profit on him. It's all good, it's all good, Marcus. I ain't even mad. Um, all right, let's go back to purples. I'm like, you guys, anybody watching my video? Oh, it's Tony Bennett. So we got Jim King and Tony Bennett. I think we got Vincent Askew. We got the whole scrub dream team up in here. Um, anybody watching my videos knows that I, uh, I really just tend to get out of order with these. I'm going like purple, gold, 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 and I'll just completely forget. Especially because I do a lot of these late at night. Like, uh, in my time zone right now, it is... Mid, a little bit past midnight it's like 17 minutes past midnight so like i don't know i get i started to get a little bit a little bit dazed you could say um i try to keep these going now. i don't know i've found that really the best time zones for uh or timing for gang packs i've had i don't know if it's a superstition or not about these hot spot times of getting gold legends but i've had a lot of luck during like the 12 to 1 a.m so this is gonna be like from 12 leaking into 1 a.m most likely so that's where i was expecting i'll probably get the most success <clears throat> and uh yeah so i don't know we're, we're just gonna have to see uh hopefully you guys can enjoy this for an hour or two uh, i'm probably gonna enjoy this it feels so weird like usually i'm this far into a pack opening it's easily done by now but uh yeah we're not even close to being done with this one not at all only 70,000 VC through. I'm also hoping that I do get some currents that I can use towards future pack openings. Um, that I can, like, sell. You know what I mean? Like, obviously if I get somebody like LeBron or Harden or D-Wade or anybody even that's good. Anybody that I think I can utilize well better than some of my legends. I'm definitely going to keep them. But if it's somebody who's, like, just as good as somebody else on my team that's a gold legend... Then, um, ooh, Howard Isley. <clears throat> then I don't think I'm going to go to the trouble of spending, or it's almost like spending 15,000 VC to keep them on your team. You know what I mean? So I think it's a waste to keep certain legends on your team if you have a gold legend that's just about as good as you. But then again, that's, that's when you're thinking inside the mind of somebody who's doing pack openings for YouTube who has to go and earn all this VC for his pack openings. That's where I'm coming from on these. So, I mean, I think I have a very different perspective from just the casual 2K player, even the hardcore 2K player, who's just playing, trying to get the best my team. Um, I think I have to look at a very different angle. And yeah, that's true. I think I do have to, I do have to perceive this as how am I going to get my next pack opening? How am I going to get my next hit? And um, yeah, so, oh, Marshall Lonis, I haven't gotten him in a while. <clears throat> that's pretty much the way I see it and so if that's why a while back when I got Chris Bosch I was hyped to get Chris Bosch because that was my first like gold legend that I act I mean not gold legend gold current that I actually like kind of like playing with like I, I really struggled with Pierce Sean Marion was good and Jameer Nelson was good but they were two players like I said who I had players as good as them why waste for the both of them was like 35,000 VC to just keep them to have them uh, that's that just seemed pointless to me so I sold them and I mean in the end out doing those pack openings I got more better players so that's that's how I see it being as a success for doing that I don't know it's uh it's up to you guys whatever you guys think is best strategy whatever you want to do and oh Matt Bullard Matt Bullard's another one on that scrub dream team 
so we're uh, we're not raking in too many too many great gold legends. We got a great gold legend right out the gate. That was kind of weird getting uh, what's his name, uh, Nick Anderson, like third pack, and oh John Barry. I haven't gotten John Barry yet. I don't think. I'm uh, glad I haven't gotten him, but phew. I would rather I didn't get him at all. <laughs> I would love it. I would just. I would lose it if I could just get somebody sick right now. Like, that's all I really want. <clears throat> Sorry my voice seems, like, really, like... I, I don't know if I'm losing my voice somehow. I've been... I must have been talking a lot lately. I haven't commentated anything, like, a week in... A week, because I was on, like, vacation, so... Yeah, I'm... I don't know why my voice is so, um... So out of it. Probably just... I don't know. Probably just tired. But, you know, I can't be tired right now. I got 413,000 VC to get through right now. <laughs> So, man, I'm, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to commentate this whole thing. This is so tired. This is like tiring trying to commentate this. I, I felt like I was going to have enough stuff to talk through this entire pack opening, but you guys, you guys can't imagine what this is like right now. I'm just trying to think of anything to talk about. I'm hoping to get a good player to talk about. Like, if I can get a good player somewhere around here that I can, oh, Kevin Willis. I'm getting a lot of players I have, like, never seen in this. And I've spent, like, 2 million VC on pack openings. Um, yeah, but what was I just talking about? Oh, yeah, I want to get a good player, like, get a gold legend out of a pack so I can start kind of talking about my future for this, like, team. Like, how I'm going to base my team around them. Because, like, I know, like, I got, like, all the gold legends in my mind, all the good gold legends in my mind, I should say. And I'm like, okay, if I get Wilt Chamberlain, I'm going to try to run a more, you know, inside offense. I'm um, still going to kick it out to Penny when I got the chance. Still going to have Hersey Hawkins out there. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. I've been waiting to get those Rockets jerseys for so long. I love those Rockets. In my opinion, those are the best jerseys in this entire in this entire game. Post in the comments, what's your favorite jersey? I, I love those Rockets jerseys. I'm not a Rockets fan, but those Rockets jerseys in this game is just are they're just so nice. I don't know. That's probably just in my opinion the best jersey in my team is the Rockets jersey. <clears throat> that classic Rockets mat uh, retro Rockets jersey is just so sick. And, ooh, Randy Foy. I think Randy Foy was worth some VC. Hopefully, I don't have a ton of experience with Randy Foy though, so I'm not gonna be completely sure. Uh, it didn't really give us a little sneak peek of what his VC is worth. Randy Foy is, uh, I'll be honest with you, Randy Foy is not sticking on this team. He's going to probably get the boot. He's probably there just to get me some bonus VC at the end of this. It's going to be ridiculous how many, like, power, no, I always call them power-ups. This isn't Super Mario. Um, how many upgrades I have left and, like, stuff like that to sell after. I already have a ton of stuff to sell after, usually. Imagine after this thing, man. This is going to be ridiculous. I'm going to be selling, like, Tons and tons. I'm going to be on here for like another two hours just selling this extra stuff. Try to get ready for my next pack opening. You guys can expect uh, uh, multiple my team games before my next pack opening. Because I can tell after this, nobody's going to want anything to do with a pack opening for a while. Unless you guys do. Uh, if you guys really do want more pack openings, post in the comments. Because I've been kind of conflicted. There's been a lot of people who are like, oh, keep doing the pack openings. And then a lot of people who are like, no, we need, we want to see gameplay. So that's where I'm sort of... um. Sort of at crossroads there, like, what do we want to see? And if you guys could help me out, I've never heard of that guy. I'm being dead honest with you. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> um, whatever you guys want to see, I'm up. I'll I'll do whatever. I mean, I'm just I'm just waiting for the word, waiting for what I what you guys want to see. So, um, all right. I, I gotta be honest. I'm getting more luck out of the purples. Like, I'm getting currents. I'm only getting currents. I haven't gotten like any. I'm getting all silvers. This is getting me mad. I hate getting all silvers. I feel like I might do a little streak of golds and then a little streak of purples. I gotta pull out like 10 straight golds. So I got, what is this right now? Two, oh, nice thunder alternates. I didn't know those were even in my team. I know they have those, like I've seen them wearing them in game and in real life. But yeah, I have not seen those in game. So I'm gonna try to go 10 golds then 5 purples. I think that's, that's about good. I already have those Clippers jerseys. I feel like I have almost every jersey in this game now. Like, I... Uh, trust me, like, I, out of all these pack openings, I have seen so many of these jerseys too many times. That's all I'm going to say about it. Ah, that's three, right? Did I just do three or did I do four? Oh, my God, I don't even know. All right, we're going on number four right now. 
for the golds. I really want to get somebody nice right here. Get somebody really good. If you guys have any methods of getting pack opening or getting good players in pack openings, post them in the comments. Not Doug Christie. Come on, Doug Christie. You know what we want right now. Um, because I I actually loved what back when I did my subscribers answers thing talking about um different like methods of getting players. Uh, I actually had a really good time reading a lot of your answers and oh why please somebody explain to me why 2k does this man about I just checked we're 18 minutes later after getting Nick Anderson and we get Horace Grant oh man maybe maybe these gold packs are Spartan players maybe they're Spartan players I don't know oh geez I actually haven't seen those Brooklyn jerseys I, I've seen people wearing them I haven't seen them come out of a pack yet though so we're getting some more new jerseys I'm gonna have to definitely experiment with a lot of new jerseys because I'm getting a ton of them right now. And oh my god, you can't you can't leave me with Horace Grant and then just leave me like that. Like we we need something, man. That that's just not that's just not kosher. Let's be honest. Like you can't just leave me with Horace Grant and then walk away. Like leave him on my doorstep and just run. And I can sell him for 700 VC. Come on. If he was a gold current, it'd be worth way more than that. Oh man. All right. So we're like seven three. We need three more. Then we switch over to five perps. I'm hoping the uh, season kickoffs give us a little more luck than these golds. These golds, uh, that was, that was just, uh, that was a low blow right there, giving me Horace Grant. I'm gonna say that much. That, that's the only way I can define it as a low blow. Why, why would you dish me Horace Grant, 2K? Like why? Oh man, that's, uh, that sucks. All right, so I'm keeping, I'm keeping positive though. I think I'm gonna get a new, uh, some new gold legends, a few like really good new gold legends. I'm feeling confident about it. And uh, I think that's that's nine. So I'm going in with one more, one more gold pack. Maybe this last gold pack can be clutch. Maybe he can be the boy. You know, last man in the pack. But he comes up clutch with Ben Gordon. Oh, Ben Gordon. I think he's worth some VC at least. That's not terrible. <clears throat> yeah, that's not terrible getting some VC at least. I'm not mad about that. Ooh, doesn't look like he's worth a ton of VC. But eh, he's worth some. Why not? And oh. 2k 2k what what are what are we doing here like is this <sighs> world be free oh my god out of a purple pack oh my gerald wallace that's a way to top it off afterwards damn all right that's all oh, that's ice cold though really world be free oh man 2k is probably like trolling that at the end they're just gonna go and dish me like ai in the last packet ah oh, craig Hilo. and <laughs> i'm gonna be like okay okay and i'll back off i'll be like all right you're doing your thing i'll do my thing i'm actually liking this um this 10 gold then five purple because oh oh no i got the season kickoff i don't know it seems like it seems like the gold packs gave me a gold legend the purple packs gave me a gold legend maybe going back and forth like this is how to do it i might go purple gold gold i'm <sighs> purple packs are kind of spewing some luck right now i don't know i don't know if you guys agree with that but i'm feeling some love from the purple packs right now rodney Rodgers, not feeling any love from him i've also heard that shaq has been um popping out of a lot of purple packs lately so that's that's making me want to open purple packs a lot and um yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to try the purple two golds, see how it goes. And I'm really, I'm just like begging. I'm just like holding on to this little prayer that I'm going to somehow snag a nice new legend. Somebody needs to help me out right here. God needs to just put some light upon me and just give me somebody nice. Ah, Gerald Wallace again. Oh, I guess we get to see right here how much VC Gerald Wallace is even worth. I don't think he's going to be worth a ton because I haven't gotten him yet. And he is worth... Oh, is Gerald Wallace retired? Oh, wow. I did not even know Gerald Wallace was retired. All right. That's a... Uh, I don't think he is. Anyway. And Corey Maggetti. Wow. I have not heard that name in a while. He has really fallen off the face of the uh, NBA news. I'll say that much. But I don't mind. We bring in Corey Maggetti onto the squad. We have 52 players. Holy crap. We came into this with like 20. And ah, new LA Clippers jerseys. We, uh, <clears throat> if we could get a gold legend here, though, that's, like I said, I, 
I want to get like one before the 300k mark. One new one, I should say. We've gotten three so far, and they're all repeats. That That's so... Oh, man. I feel like I'm just like taking hits right now. <clears throat> like, they're sending like uppercuts and like, I don't even know, like jabs. And I'm like trying to avoid them. I'm taking hits right now. There's 2K just sending hits down. I mean, I'm taking all of them. And Rodney Rogers is Rodney Rogers is the biggest hit really lately. I've gotten him four times so far. Um, I'm surprised I haven't gotten him. I'm surprised I haven't gotten Jim King in every pack. That seems to be the luck that 2K likes to give me. You just put Jim King in every pack. <laughs> All right, we need something good right here. Ah, Celtics Arena. I feel like when I say let's get something good right here, it's never a good thing. But when I'm like talking about something else and I have no idea what's going on, they'll throw somebody nice at me. I don't know, maybe I should stop paying attention. Maybe I should just keep talking while I'm opening packs. I don't know, man, but honestly. Oh, Anderson. Oh. Oh. 2K. 2K, why? Oh, 2K is like, I don't even know if they're in a bad mood tonight or something. I don't know, you guys might not know this, but Anderson Varejao is the locked player for 2K. Look at that. I can't even sell him. He's just stuck there. Oh, he's worth 14,000 VC. That kills me, man. That absolutely kills me. You don't know how much I want to use him so bad. I mean, not use him, but sell him. I want to sell him so badly. And oh, man, come on. Like, that's that's just, ah, uh, I hate that. I don't know why that's, why 2K, when they went and unlocked injured players, there's certain players like Ramon Sessions, I know somebody who has him and he's locked. Um, Anderson Varejao is locked. I know because Shake had him. And there's a few. There's a few others. I think there's two more who are locked. God knows why. That's just so irritating, though, that they have players like that who they haven't even. They haven't even released a new patch or update to, you know, like unlock them. Like they've heard all these complaints. Like, hey, I have Anderson Varejao. Where's my 14,000 free VC? He sits there. Oh, Nate Robinson. But he just sits there in your collection. And even if you can't even get rid of him for free, he just sits there. Like, you go to see what your best player is. I'm looking for my boy Dominique. And all of a sudden, he's just chilling like a villain there. Like, no, you're not my best player, Anderson Varejao. Get out. But he doesn't listen. He's a computer. <laughs> oh, my God. That frustrates me, though. I feel like 2K could do a lot better of a job on that. And that's what's something I want to see in 2K14. And with the dynamic roster updates, I feel like I feel like they're gonna be a lot better with roster management with that. But I still have this fear that they're gonna be pretty subpar with it, and they're not gonna bring their A game. And I re I want them to do good, really I do. But I really I can't I can't have full faith in 2K anymore. I feel like they've they've just pulled a lot of things over the years, where there's always these game modes that that they're so good and then there's always that one thing and there's the one thing has to be so annoying but 2k doesn't go around to fix it and we end up with stuff like that so whatever it's all good though i don't work for 2k i can't tell them what to do but that's something i would love to see with the new dynamic uh living rosters that they update like every day right yeah they update depending on a game the night before you're gonna see like your players at uh not stats attributes go up and down and i think that's definitely a huge improvement for 2k it's gonna make it a lot more uh i wouldn't exactly say realistic it's gonna make it more exciting though it's gonna make it a lot different i guess it's gonna make it a lot more dynamic because i mean you can have a good team a good my team next day your team's gonna, might be struggling you had a guy who had a bad night the night before now he's not playing so well for your squad and oh rip hamilton all right all right we got the mask Oof. now we need the uh now we need the mamba and we need Kyrie. We gotta somehow get the masks on them like they had. <laughs> uh, now that would be sweet. That would be nice. That would actually be hilarious if we could somehow get that. And IA uh, Arena. I'm really expecting to see a nice gold legend come out of one of these packs soon. I'm begging. Absolutely begging. 2K, Ronnie, Chris Manning, the developers. I don't know any of the developers' names, but somebody send me down something right here. And the Oracle Arena is not what we were looking for. And oh my god, like, I'm... <laughs> so frustrating. We're so, Oh my god, we're 163,000 VC in. 162, my bad. And we really haven't gotten anything. 
Daryl Dawkins. No, you're you just aren't, you aren't anything. I'm sorry. Uh, you just aren't. <clears throat> this is when I start to get frustrated. I feel like we've gone through so much, and I I just feel like going on a gold tear right now. I'm sorry. I'm just going on a gold tear because even though the purples have been hitting me up with the most stuff, I feel like if I go on a gold tear, finally the golds might just rain upon me with some sort of luck. Give me something, like please, God. I need something, man. This That's all I'm going to say about it. Is I need something if I'm going to feel good about even keeping this thing going. And Mike Dunleavy was the opposite of the something that I needed right there. Oh, man. <laughs> this is like... I, I shouldn't say that we, we won't get anything because we're only 170,000 VC through. That's the thing that's so weird about this. Like I said, like... I'm so used to doing 30k, 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 30k. That's when, like, doing a pack opening like this, like, blows my mind how long this is going to take. And I got to remember, there's still opportunity. I could still get somebody really good, you know, down to the last VC. There's always the chance. So, I got to keep my head in it. Can't get, can't get frustrated. Got to keep my focus on opening these packs. Um... Yeah, this is uh, this this has been frustrating. I mean, I know you guys can understand this would be frustrating, um, putting in all this effort and then, you know, just getting nothing. But I I got some faith. I got a little bit of faith. We're gonna get something good within these next few packs. And uh, I mean, I would love I would just love to see something great in these next few packs. That's that's all I really want to see is just something fantastic. Somebody that like somebody that's just gonna change this team so much. Like, Kemp, Shaq, AI, Chamberlain, Russell, Moses Malone, Hakeem the Dream. I don't know. The list goes on. A lot of them are centers plus AI. <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. A list of centers plus AI. And that's the people who are going to change my team. I mean, at this point, though, I'm willing to just get a gold legend to get the ball rolling. You know what I mean? Like, this is just, like, so so frustrating just seeing like nothing come out of these packs and you so badly want to see your you know your guy who's gonna make it all happen come out of that pack and then dead eye comes out and you're like oh man <clears throat> sorry oh my god my voice is just dying right now i don't know how i'm gonna make it through the rest of this i might take an intermission pretty soon i might just quit the menu and be like okay 2k i'll give you a chance to just settle down for a little bit figure out what you're trying to do on us and now uh, matt bullard I'm I'm feeling these purples now. I was feeling that streak of golds where I got absolutely nothing except Mike Dunleavy in like the second one. I'm feeling a streak of purples right now though. I mean, don't judge. It could happen. This could happen. Come out the purples. And Kyle Macy is like the last thing I wanted. Kyle Macy, I don't know why he's a silver. Macy's alright, but he's nobody I would rank at a silver, to be honest with you. He's just no, oh, he's just alright. Uh, I mean, I guess that's what silver is. Bronze is bad, like Kevin Lynch. Uh, silver is average, and gold's great. I see silver is more as good. Bronze is average, and then gr uh, gold. I don't say green. Gold is great. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't see Kyle Macy in there. He's just so he's so common. That's why I don't I don't like having him as a silver. Who's the uh, Johnny Newman's the other silver? That's way too common. One silver I'd like to come by is Robert Pack. Because Robert Pack's dunks are just so sick. Getting him and Sean Kemp on the same team. That's a dunk squad right there. That's a dunk dream team. Alright, I'm going to open up one more purple. And then we're going to get back in. Or, well, I'll say now we're going to get back into our little trend. I'll go purple, gold, gold, gold. And just because I'm feeling a little more faith in the golds. And John Thompson. So we just got a bunch of straight bronzes. I want to, uh, I'm sorry, I need to get something good. I need to get something reasonable out of a purple before I can start going golds again. I can't end on a streak of bronzes. What's the thing people say? People say something stupid like, if you get like a silver out of a purple, then your next, oh, 2K, 2K. I'm like, I seriously, I need to like call somebody up at 2K and say, why are you giving me all these repeats? Terry Porter, come on, man. This is like, uh, that's something good out of a, purple pack i guess jeez all right so we um we are getting absolutely like i don't even know i, I don't know what to call this we're getting gypped i don't even know like, it's so hard to even explain what this is anymore this is just us getting butt raped 
I guess you can call it that. But, um, oh man, so we just opened up two golds. Going back to purples now. I've heard of getting Bill Russell in purples. I've heard of getting Wilt in purples. And I've heard of getting uh, Shaq in purples. Obviously, Shaq's rarer than, like, anybody. Um, or any of those, like, guys. Shaq's just, like, the rarest to get um, for centers, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's one of the rarest for centers. I'm going to open up another purple. I, I, like I said, I don't like going into golds with a bronze. <clears throat> so I don't know if that method is exactly true about you should guess silver, but I mean it might be who knows and if it is may hey, maybe I should do it But um, all right, so we got Phil Jackson. All right Phil Jackson sucks in this game now, you know player Phil Jackson, you know if you're always a coach, but I Mean if we can uh, if we can get a silver legend right there, maybe If I open up a streak of golds, I'm gonna open up a streak of golds until uh, I was gonna say until I get a player and Craig Ulo hops up out of there Oh man, Craig Eulo is too common in this game too. He's another player that's just too common. I don't know why they have to make him so common, but they do. Yeah. All right, let's open up another gold. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about these golds right now. I'm feeling good about any packs. I'm... It's like whenever I start to feel it, that's when we go and we get a repeat. We get Terry Porter. We get um, how many? We got Nick Anderson to start. Then we got I can't even remember. I can't. Even... I don't even care. Because they're repeats, honestly. That's that's all they are to me. I don't care who they are. They're gone now. doesn't even matter. Like, if I get this guy, I'm going to go check out his stats and stuff. But, whew. That's just, that's frustrating, to say the least. I'll tell you that. That's just absolutely frustrating. Getting nobody. You guys, I, I'm sure some of you like to open packs can imagine how frustrating it is to get nobody. But look at that. Go back to the beginning of this video and look how much VC I had and look how much VC I have now. And tell me how frustrating you think it must be to have nobody on this team right now. So, oh, Luis Scola. Okay, that's that's I am. I'm gonna have to give a nice thank you to 2K for they're dishing me some VC at least. Okay, like that. That's a nice peace offering, 2K. Next time though, you know, hit us, hit us with the legend, and we'll be like, all right, maybe we chill now. But I don't know, man. You're gonna you're gonna have to hit me with a little more than Luis Scola for me to forgive you, 2K. I'm, I'm gonna be straight with you on that one. I don't know. Maybe getting a ah, gold current might be like a um. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It might mean I'm less likely to get a gold legend. I hope that's not the case, but maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not the case, but. If it is, it is. That's 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 a hand we were dealt. I'll say that much. Not much we can do. It's a hand we were dealt. We're just gonna have to deal with it. And ah, U.S. Airways Center. Ah, I hate the U.S. Airways Center so much. I mean, I, a lot of people just say like they. Ah, I hate the U.S. Airways Center so much. And I guess I don't hate it because it is. It pays you 130,000 VC, which is a lot more than a lot of the things that you can get. And Jim Davis. Oh my god, I forgot about Jim Davis. <laughs> I remember when I got him, I was like, oh jeez, Jim King's Jim King's relative. I don't think they're relatives. They don't have the same last name, but you know. You know, you know where I'm coming from on this one. And season kickoff. Uh oh, Matt Bullard. I gotta get another season kickoff. You guys know. You guys know what it is. You can't go out of it getting a bronze. You gotta go into it, get a get silver, get a gold. If I could get a gold, oh my god, if I could get a new gold legend right now out of this purple, please. Please, Ronnie. Please, God. Ah, uh, Donald Sloan. Really? That's like that's the opposite of a gold legend. <clears throat> that's a bronze. That's that's just not. Nah, that, that's trash. Get that trash out of here. I'm opening up another pack. You know. All right, come on, come on, Ronnie. Come on, God. And Evan Turner. Evan Turner is gonna be some VC cash money. I'll say that much. All right. So we got we got ourselves a silver player. Wasn't a silver legend. We got ourselves a silver player though. And we go into this. We got ourselves. You know, some more VC from Evan Turner. Getting in on that gold booster. And a uh, highlight film. Come on. Oh, geez. We need this, man. We need this right now. We need this so much. I feel like we're so close to that gold legend. I'm like, I can taste it right now. I can absolutely taste it. And uh, finisher is what I was tasting, apparently. <sighs> okay, we need, we need something nice right here. I keep saying we need... Oh man, guys! Post in the comments, by the way. I'd love to hear 
who out of the people I've gotten is there anybody who's like very valuable to use that you guys like to use because I I don't know I'm not like I'm not experienced with the use of all of these guys that I get I've obviously used a lot of them but there are some players I have never really had the experience to play a lot with Evan Turner like players like that I would love to hear your experiences with is oh my god excuse me is he worth keeping or is he one of those players that's just going to be kind of like, eh, you can drop him. Is he worth the 16,000 VCs? Kind of the thing I'm trying to get across. And Spud Webb, I've already had Spud Webb before. Damn, I was watching a video actually. You guys may have seen this. It was like Spud Webb dunks at age 58. And you can hear as Spud Webb jumps, there's like a trampoline under him. And he does like this double clutch dunk. And, um... <laughs> Uh, and like I was like, is that real? And then I was like looking at the comments, everyone's pointing out a trampoline. And I'm like, ah. So I don't know. I it, I think it was obviously a joke, but uh, Spud's uh, Spud's still he can he can still get some ops. I'll give him that much. I mean, even using a trampoline, he can still dunk. He's still he got that dunk plus nine, that gold attribute. Ugh, all right, let's go. Let's uh, Oracle Arena is not going. That is not a let's go situation. Oh man, I'm I'm getting just absolutely like <clears throat> if I got a gold legend right now, I'd wake right up. I'm gonna say that much. I would just wake right up. And Tom Thibodeau, Tom Thibodeau is one of those. It's him and Frank Vogel. I always see come out, and I always think it's a gold legend. And I get so hyped, and then they just come out and they just screw me over every time. And ah, uh, highlight film. I want to open up some more. I want to kind of go on a gold streak right now. I feel like going on gold rush. Just because, I don't know. I feel like if I'm going to get a sick gold legend that I've never gotten, I'm more likely to get it out of gold. Even though I do get all my gold legends out of gold packs. I've I've sometimes gotten them out of purples, but I get most of them out of golds. Um, I'm just kind of hanging on that prayer that I'm going to get somebody out of a purple pack. But who knows? I don't think it's very common that I'm going to get like... Shaq or Bill Russell, even though people, there have been a lot of people who have said they've gotten Russell out of uh, purple packs. Now, for the other centers and other guys that I really want, I don't know if they're as common to get out of those packs. So, we're just going to have to see about that. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, we'll have to see. And Daryl Dawkins, come on, man. <clears throat> Maybe that's a good sign. <clears throat> Maybe that's a good sign that I'm about to get a gold legend. We're approaching almost the halfway mark of this pack opening. We've actually gotten a lot of players. I will say that much. We have gotten a lot of players. Not exactly the players that I would have wanted. But we have gotten some players. And uh, I would love I would love to see one of those players be a gold. And be somebody we don't have. And not playing in this league anymore. Meaning a new gold legend. It's not too much to ask for 2k. For having spent a 500. I almost said 15,000. 500,000 VC on your packs and you're not giving me anybody that that's a little bit of a low blow oh you know what they should do they should put in the new Lakers Hollywood Knights jerseys into this now that would be sick <clears throat> I would I would open up packs I would open up the season uh, not the season the um the jersey packs like out of my mind to try to get that honestly like that would be sick those new jerseys those new Lakers jerseys I don't know. Some people say they don't like those are dirty. Like honestly, those are so nasty. I would I would wear those. Like I I'm not even a Lakers fan. Like I'm a Suns and Celtics fan. So I'm like the opposite of a Lakers fan and I would wear those. That's like how much those jerseys are sick. Is that I would wear the jersey of the team that's rival to both of my two favorite teams. Uh, I'm just saying, and oh, Samuel Dallin there, he used to be really good, man. Like, he used to be, like, in my opinion, he used to be really good. He's really fizzled out, though. I guess once you get older, you can expect that from any player, but he seemed to really have just a quick drop. Like, he was, he was at least talked about, you know what I mean? He wasn't, like, the star player in the NBA, but, I mean, people talked about him. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's rough. Uh, Alright, so this is going to be like the last pack. I'm going to do a 
Ah, oh, I'm gonna have like two gold packs going into 250,000. Can we get one new gold legend going into halfway through the pack opening? <clears throat> I don't know. I think we do have a chance of getting one. It might, it's gonna be tight though. It's gonna be tight. This is coming at, this is the last pack. Oh, come on. Come on. Please, please. Oh, Craig Elo, you're a dick. Oh, man. All right, that's, that's rough. That is absolutely rough, man. Ah, I really wanted somebody right there. I'll say that much. I did really want somebody. And Craig Elo just... He's not helping me up out much right there. So, we're going into the... Oh, weird. Oh, this is actually the one to go into the second half. We'll see. We'll see. And Air Canada. We'll just say Craig Elo. was the um, halfway mark. We can just say that. Won't matter. All right. So, we're... We really... We need something good here. I know I've said that about 100,000 times during this, but going 250,000 in and not getting anybody new, it, that's that's obviously a little bit disappointing. And I, I feel like I'm going to go, like, insane if I don't get any new players. <clears throat> like, I might actually go clinically insane. I, well, I, I, like, I'll put it into that perspective for you. I will lose my mind if I don't get a new gold player. And Jason Richardson... So we're getting, a, we're getting a ton of new currents. Like, a ton of new currents. I don't know, man. We're going to have to see uh, what I'm going to do with all these currents. If I'm going to keep them. Jason Richardson jacked up that VC amount a lot. My total value. So, oh my. I don't know how, like, we've seen so few gold legends. Like, I do the strategy and it's like every 60k you see a gold legend. And... Oh, well, actually, we've spent about what? Um, hmm. I'm trying to see how much VC. That's about 260,000. We'll say that's four. So we see about four gold legends on average. And we've seen... Oh, wow, we've seen four. So uh, we should be expecting four more gold legends. And one of those, please, be a new one. I'm begging you, 2K. Send me a new one. These old gold legends, I can't handle, man. I just, oh man. If I saw Ken pop out of one pack, I feel like this whole pack opening would just instantly be worth it. Uh, Greg Steams, my, you this pack opening is not worth it because of you. You've done nothing to improve this pack opening, honestly. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm just gonna get my focus out. Just gonna make sure I get player here and oh Larry Siegfried I'm I have not gotten him before wow Celtic legend we we have had a lot of Celtic legends in the past and we got a ton tonight I feel like <clears throat> we've gotten like at least 10 Celtics legends we got a lot of the bronzes we didn't get any good ones Bill Russell would be a cool addition to that if we could snag him good lord I don't know what uh why Bill Russell is just reg not regretting Resenting us, saying not to hop out of any of these packs. Uh, he's being kind of a, being kind of a jerk right now. I'll be honest with you. I mean no disrespect, but let's be honest. And 2K, 2K. I, I need to know like why you're doing this to me. I need to know if I did something wrong. This is like bad voodoo or whatever the hell it is. But sending me James Worthy, that's like. Yeah, yeah, this is five straight repeat legends. Oh my god, like I can't even handle that. And then Eddie Johnson to follow it up. I can't even handle that right now. I saw gold. I saw, you know, them Lakers shorts. And I was like, hold up. There could be a lot of classic Lakers. And then I just see James Worthy. I'm like, dude, come on. James Worthy just hops out of there like, you are screwed, man. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, that's that's so rough. That's actually just so rough. I don't think anything can make me any more angry than getting James Worthy right now. I don't even care at this point if I get a bad new gold legend. Like, I just need to get a new gold legend at this point. Please, God. Somebody. Just anybody. Just new. And, oh, Jeff Hornick, Hornacek, sorry, I, I'm going horny, Jeff Hornacek, finally, finally a new gold legend, 
guys, oh my god. I really thought I was gonna go through this whole thing without a new gold legend. And you can bet your balls I'm gonna go show you his attributes. I need anything to interrupt pack opening for like five seconds. Look at all these, oh my god. So let's see, let's see where he rates up here. All right, we haven't found him yet, we haven't found him yet. Oh god, oh, okay, he is, oh jeez. Don't mind him at all, okay. He's got a nice shot, medium. Oh man, nice free throw, nice three. He's pretty de he's a pretty decent all-around guard. Um, oh man, I'm actually I'm liking I'm liking him as a player. I think he can play well as a player. I'm looking at his rebounds ass. I'll say that much. Uh, I wasn't expecting much of a rebound. So he's gonna be ooh, he's a decent player. I think he could take a spot over somebody like Kendall Gill. Like he's he's a player that could play Kendall Gill's role for him. I mean, that's, that's actually, I'm actually pretty happy about that. So, we finally get a new gold legend, guys. Whew. Derek Harper. All right, that's not what I'm looking for. Now, usually when I, like, when something great happens, when I get a new gold legend, when something, like, I'm like, oh, I go crazy. And then the next person always is Jim King. Like, Jim King's, like, that one buzz kill that goes, that just shows up. And everyone who's, like, like getting hype just, like, kind of stops and is like, uh, yeah. Yeah, hey, what's up, Jim? And then Jim, Jim never notices though, you know, he, he hops up in there like he's, like he's hot, but no, no, Jim King, what, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I was open up season kickoff and oh, Kevin Serafin, I had him, um, I had him early. He was worth some good VC. I'm hoping to be able to do a lot of good pack openings for you guys now. Now I'm reeling in a lot of good VC. I probably won't be recording on my team game tonight just because, uh, oh, Anthony Bowie. Oh, I'm uh, tired as tired as tired gets right now. So, tomorrow, though, um, whenever I have some free time, I'm going to try to record like uh, maybe like five to six games for you guys, honestly. And I'm going to try to edit them as fast as possible, post them as fast as possible, and just keep posting videos. And that's all I can do, really, um, is just keep posting those videos. Might try to stock up, you know, school's coming around, um, going to my sophomore year, so I need, I'm going to need that time to focus on my work, so I want to try to get some videos ready so I can pace myself well, maybe go every other day until I can kind of, you know, get my studies got under, I call them studies, I think from like Europe, but, um, I'm going to try to keep my work under control to a point where I've got good balance and a good routine and I can go at this, go at YouTube at the same angle. Um, I'm not going to be able to put in as much work. Like, it's not going to be pack going. This is my career videos and stuff like that, but I still want to be able to put in a lot of work to this, but also I need to focus on school, obviously. I think that's, that's all, that obviously comes first, but uh, this, this honestly comes second. Like, this has become, this has become an important part of my life. This YouTube thing, so yeah, this YouTube thing. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna put in everything I can, and I'm gonna try to post as many videos as possible. If you see me not posting as many videos, you guys gotta understand. Like, I'm, I if I could, I would. That's what. That's the point I'm trying to get across. Is that if I can't post these videos, like it's because I can't post these videos. It's not because I'm choosing not to and I'm sleeping or I'm watching TV. If I have time to watch TV, I'm not gonna be watching TV. Or I'll be watching my TV and I'll have my headphones in listening to the video editing it. That, that's how I'm repping right now. I'm not wasting my time watching TV. Unless it's The Walking Dead. Let's hold up for a second. The Walking Dead is like... that. That's something that you guys gotta see is like something, something above everything. You gotta take time out every Sunday night and watch The Walking Dead. Besides that, th this, comes, this comes number one to me. Besides school, obviously. And, oh, Kurt Rambis. I don't know, maybe Kurt Rambis is a good sign because we ended up getting Nick Anderson right after getting Kurt Rambis. And we got Nick Anderson in a gold pack. What legends have we gotten in gold packs? Terry Porter came in a purple. World Be Free came in a purple. Um, Hornacek came in a purple. James Worthy came in a purple. <laughs> a lot of gold legends coming in purples. Uh, maybe I should be switching over to purples. Actually, everything good has come out of purples. Honestly, but... Then when you think about where am I going to get the best of the best, which is what I need right now, I'm going to be getting them at golds. Hornacek's honestly one of the best players that you see come out of golds reasonably. And, oh, Ishmael Smith? 
That was kind of that was the weirdest. I've never gotten him. Um, so I've never seen his pose. That was the weirdest. Oh my god, he's like mopping up the floor with his face. I don't know. I don't. I don't care. He can do what he wants. I'm gonna buy some more purples. Just see how I can do with the purples. And Vincent Askew. Vincent Askew is just like in this game just to make you sad. I don't. I don't know why. There's something about Jim King where like Jim King pisses me off, but Vincent Askew is like. I just don't like Vincent Askew even more because he's like rare to get. He's like the rarest terrible person. So like you feel somewhat accomplished, but it kills your accomplishment because you're so pissed. So it almost like jacks up how pissed you are. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it just makes me mad. So uh, if Vincent Askew is watching this man, he's he's in for a nightmare of a commentary against him. This is a revolt towards Vincent Askew. I'll say that much, man. Alright, and uh, Larry Siegfried. Wow, I haven't gotten him ever before. I get him twice in the same pack opening. He must be in the rotation tonight. I kind of want to stop for the night and go and like do, um, you know, go and come back like tomorrow night and see if the rotation's there, if I can get any different players. But I think I'm going to stick with it and uh, I'm going to open up until I get another, I don't know. Another silver player, I guess. Or gold, you know, if we could get another gold legend. That would be solid. I would love a new gold legend. And, oh, Matt Carroll, come on. I don't know why he looks like a gold for a second. If we ever got LeBron, man, I I don't even know. And the funniest thing about getting LeBron would be all the comments on my My Team videos. Be like, you cheese and you bought LeBron. When nobody goes back and watches the 500k... Where I picked LeBron out of a purple pack. Is that even... That has to... It, he has to be possible. I don't think it's like... Ever been... Has it ever been documented? I have to look that up after this. Because watching LeBron come out of a purple pack would be crazy. And Kenny Smith. Kenny the Jet. I've actually heard Kenny the Jet's pretty solid. But I heard that from somebody who... Uh, doesn't have like... I mean, actually, I don't think he has any gold players. He's like repping with Kevin Duckworth as his number one. <laughs> So I, I shouldn't take from him, who's really the best of the best out there. Oh, all right, time to get into some gold now. I do like opening golds because obviously they're less VC, so I can kind of you know keep them going a little bit longer without this you know, stretching on for uh, or like not I should say not stretching on without it being shortened. And this has actually been a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure. It's just been really uh really quick i don't know we've uh, we've been getting through a lot of stuff really fast all right break all right so all right let's just, uh, am i on purples right now oh, oh geez my headphones just dropped to the ground and ah uh, joe bryant joe bryant has seemed to become i don't know he seems to have become almost like more rare lately i don't know why <laughs> that's kind of weird to say but I haven't just I just haven't gotten him in a while. I don't know. So I don't know if he's more rare now or if he's just not been in the rotation when I'm going. I don't know. This I don't know if this is a good this might be a good rotation because a lot of the legends I've been getting have been like the crap legends. So if there's a lot of crap legends, there's gotta be like that one like, you know, prestigious legend that they put in here for the rotation. And um more check obviously isn't him. I don't think he would be the prestigious legend, the prestigious gold legend. I mean, I think we're talking somebody like somebody like Allen Iverson, maybe, you know, the answer. Uh, or Mel Counts, maybe. I don't know. I don't run for 2K. Well, I run for 2K. I don't run 2K, though. The man above runs 2K. God. Big picture. <laughs> no, I don't think God, or actually, well, God, God runs everything, but... Pretty sure 2K is run by the 2K CEO. He's probably God. I don't know. Probably is. He created a great game. I mean, let's be honest for a minute. Look at this. This is a solid game. Worked hard on it. has its flaws, like giving me Jeff Turner out of a purple pack. That's a big flaw, but they'll fix it. They'll fix it. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They can make them big changes. Save the day. All right. Alvin Gentry, get out of there. <clears throat> I'm gonna open. Oh Jesus Christ, that voice crack! And ah, Marshall Onus, come on! I'm. Mm. 
I want to open all the purple. It's just whenever I open up purples, I feel like my VC is just dwindling down and down and down. Um. All right, we're gonna open up another purple. Come on, come on. Oh, Chris Singleton, come on. One more, one more. Oh my god, I feel like a, I feel like a gambler right now. Actually, this, this is like gambling. Let's be honest, it's like gambling. Except you don't get any money back. You get players. I'm feeling good about this one. And Greg Smith, come on. All right, it's all good. We'll keep going. I wonder, um, wasn't Greg Anthony? Apparently he's like this glitched player that when you put him in, you get all sorts of like gold legends and stuff. And I don't know if he's still like that. But that's what a ton of people have been telling me, and I, I would love to try that actually. Anything that even has the possibility of giving you gold legends, I would love to try. <sighs> Alright. So, hundred, about 160,000 left. Uh, let's let's pray to God we get something going right here. And get on a hot streak that just can't be stopped. I'm, I'm in a way sort of doubting that we're going to get on a hot streak here. But if we could somehow get on a hot streak, that would be nice. Just get like... Four new gold legends all out here right now but like I said on all oh, Rudy LaRusso oh thank you 2k comes in just like I don't know I don't sometimes I don't get as mad at 2k about this stuff because you know they come up clutch they they make you think hey we're not gonna we're not gonna come in you know like beast mode and then they do sorry I'm writing down the timestamp right now for you guys I was trying to, oh my god, oh, I almost forgot to look at Rudy LaRusso, oh my god, that's that's how tired I am, just Rudy LaRusso, Rudy LaRusso's, damn, that's a tongue twister, his stats, I saw somebody post in a uh, Operation Sports Forum that Rudy LaRusso was an overall 73, whoever said that, um, I don't agree with, I don't think he is a 73 actually, uh, where's his, alright, you guys have a little, Look, I want to get to his rebound. 83 and 84. You guys know I'm huge for rebounding. That gets me pumped. Like, seeing that is awesome. That makes me really happy. Let's see his inside. He's got an 86 inside, which isn't terrible. He's definitely going to be a member of this lineup. It's now a matter of starter or backup. It's between him and Horace Grant. And I think him and Horace Grant are tied for rating. So... I'm gonna have to compare him and Horace Grant. Oh, let's see. Is Horace Grant? Who's above? Oh, oh. Wait, no. Horace Grant is not even close to him. Horace Grant drops all the way down here. So I think Horace Grant's gonna have his spot taken by Rudy Russo. He has a B inside. Horace Grant's got a B inside. Uh, it's it's gonna be a little bit easier to compare them later uh, by myself. But post in the comments, Rudy Russo or Horace Grant? That's a tough debate. Let's let's just check out the my. Should I clear the my team? Oh, I know what I was going to do. Hold up, hold up. This is what I was going to do. I was going to replace my entire team with bronze players. And I forgot to do it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so stupid. I mean, here I am just insulting myself repeatedly. Oh my god. I was supposed to do that, what, 350,000 VC ago? Um, how did I forget to do this? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna see how this works out. This is a method I've heard of a lot. Um, <clears throat> sorry, where you put in bronzes and then it's kind of like the thing where you clear your lineup and you make it think that you have bad stuff. But yeah, I don't know. And I'm gonna try to clear like I'm gonna try to make everything bronze on my team, like even the jerseys. Um, yeah, like King Future TV. I'm not sure if his episode's premiered yet. He got someone pretty nice from this method. I'm, I'm I can't say much, but. You got someone pretty nice, and you know your boy was the one who recommended it. So like, holla at me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll give myself the Bobcats jerseys. Then they'll need to give me something nice. Oh, those those were some pretty ugly Sixers jerseys. And all right, so we got our all bronze team. We got the Scrub Dream team. Open up a gold booster. And oh, Brandon Knights. Ah uh, yes, I can get the my ankles broken. I can get dunked on. Ah uh, yes, perfect. No, I'm kidding, of course, but... Oh, wow, we almost have 200,000 total value. You guys know it's going to make for some nice pack openings in the future. We got almost 200,000 back. That's pretty cool. And Brandon Roy. Ho, ho. Oh, 
man hold up guys i gotta write down a time stamp for this then we're gonna go look at brandon roy's stats that's sick man brandon roy oh my god i'm brandon roy's with 14,000. we're gonna have to just take a quick peek at brandon roy and uh oh brandon roy's a pretty good player it looks like um all right so his he's got a very like a very just good like shot inside not all of his shots are just very good they're not none of them are great that's my only issue with him he doesn't have anything that's like great he's just good at everything so as a guard though i don't know i don't really see where he fits in at this point i could keep him i might keep him post in the comments guys this is up to you should i keep him or not or is it worth me just doing another pack opening um actually let me let me take now to show you guys my gold legends real quick for anybody who hasn't seen them i'm just gonna show you all these gold legends we got dominique wilkins jerry west gary payton penny hardaway terry porter james worthy rudy larusso new to the team tom sanders brad doherty horace grant nick anderson john starks jeff hornacek jerome kersey Kendall Gill, Muggsy Bogues, Casey Jones, Detlef Shrimp, uh, bleh, Hersey Hawkins, Bill Lambeer, Larry Nance, George Gervin, and finally World Be Free. So that those are our gold legends that we're dealing with right now. So um out of those, like who do you what do you guys think for a lineup? Post your lineup in the comments and uh, I will make sure I'm gonna guys, I read every comment. I, I hope you guys know I read every comment. So I will be look. I'll be reading your comments. I'm gonna say that much. I will be reading your comments, and uh, if I see a lineup I like, I'll use it. I'm. I don't care if I'm taking somebody else's advice, and I'll give you credit for. It. I'll be like, yo, I, I read this comment from the gentleman TV, and he was like, yo, you should do this method. It's, uh, all right, not this method. You should use this lineup. Um, I think this guy could kill it at point, and if you got it to him at center, it'd be a perfect combo. And I'll try it out, and if it works out, you know, you were the guy who just won me a game. That's all I'm going to say about it. Ugh, all right, Kyle Macy. Oh, man, so we still got 151. I feel like I feel like this bronze thing is doing clutch right now. I'm feeling like a gold legend is on its way. I'm just, I'm feeling it. I'm so feeling another gold legend. I'm feeling, it looks like we could get two to three more gold legends. I would be very hy hype about that, honestly. Like, I would love to get two or three more gold legends. But, um, realistically, I don't know how many more we're going to get. <clears throat> we, I think we pretty much need to get two more gold legends. That's the way I see it, is that we're almost assured two more. But who knows, at this point, if we're going to get two more. If 2K is going to troll on us. It's 1.14 in the morning right now. So, 1 a.m., like I said, I'm not sure if I said this or not, but 1 a.m. is my spot. Like, that's that's when I go off in these pack openings. So, we're going to have to see. I'm usually getting the nice guys at Golds, not John Thompson. Um, yeah, but I, don't, I hope the rotation changes somewhere in this last 145,000 VC. I just want the rotation to change so that we can get some new players in here so I don't have to keep selling them back like that. And a uh, posterizer. Oh, man. So pretty much we've we've gotten two new gold legends that's not that's terrible i'll say that that is terrible but i mean that's not as terrible as it first started out i'll say that it first started out bad like it was straight bad that i was like really getting like scared like we weren't gonna get anybody so i'm happy we finally got two new guys and i mean they they both thing i like about both of them is I mean, I would have liked to have somebody who I'm like, oh, this guy's starting. This guy's easily in it. And, I mean, I got two guys who one of them's debatably going to be in the lineup. One of them's debatably going to be a starter. So, I mean, I got two guys who have a chance to even make an impact, which is good. Where, I mean, at the beginning, I was just getting guys who were just crap or guys I already had who can't make an impact. So... That's that's definitely a relief for me right now is I got two players that can help out this team and I want to try to use them because I don't want this to be a waste at all. <clears throat> um, yeah, so 
I mean, two more gold legends, two or three more gold legends would be so nice to see. And maybe one of those be like a really good guy that I don't have. That would be just so nice. But I mean, I gotta think realistically right now. If we could get, if we could get one new guy who's like one of the guys that I wanted on my wish list, then I would see this as being worth it. That that's what I'm gonna say. I would see this as being worth it if we got one of the guys I that was on my wish list that I was talking about earlier in this commentary, um, like Wilt, Bill Russell, Hakeem, Moses, um, Shaq, AI, any of them, uh, Kemp. If I got any of them right now, it would make this pack opening worth it in my mind. Because I need, I just need that one more superpower that's going to make this team unstoppable. And a lot of you guys have been like, alright, you want to make it to the one seed, just start playing some games. And it's like, you really don't need to start getting good players until you get to the two seed. Guys, I want to like take this team and... Once I start like going hard on my team videos, like it's not gonna be pack openings, it's going straight my team. Like we're just gonna go road to the first seed, like no pit stops. We ain't stopping at no gas stations or anything. Like, we're just going full throttle to the first seed, and I want to demolish the whole way through, and then we're gonna get ourselves in there. And I mean, honestly, there's no way to like really like. You can't really in this get a team that's just gonna automatically win because there's some tough teams out there and honestly even if they're teams that aren't that tough i mean you put lebron and dwight on the same team and then maybe even like chris paul or Kyrie, and that team is good enough to possibly beat you if you're having an off day and they're having a good one you're done honestly like they that team is so easy to play with that they can just absolutely wreck you Dominique has been the only player that I've been able to like counteract that team with. Because Dominique gets in the passing lanes. He's playing good interior D. He can get you on the outside. You saw that block on Melo like a week or two ago. Like he's he's sick, man. So I mean he's um Yeah, he's one of those players that can somehow counteract that dream team like uh triple threat of oh whoops. Of Melo or Melo, LeBron, Dwight, or Chris Paul, Melo, Dwight, something like that. Actually, those combos, if you want those combos to be effective, you need LeBron in there. <clears throat> Usually what I see is they pull something like, you know, you got Chris Paul, Kobe, um, then Melo or Durant, LeBron at power forward, and then you put Dwight at center. Or what? one of the ones that I've seen has been effective that I'm not sure, Smooth kind of used this a little bit, Dwight Howard at center, Josh Smith at power forward, then you've got LeBron at small forward, and then you got Kobe shooting guard, Chris Paul uh, point guard. I remember Smooth saying a while back, like, man, I was surprised to see Jay Smooth on another team. Like, now Josh Smith is on every team. I don't know if it's because of Smooth. I think he may have had a huge impact on it for why a lot of people are using Josh Smith now, but he's so common to see in games. Like, you, you're going to see uh, Jay Smooth a lot in my team when you're playing against teams, honestly. And yeah, those Christmas Bulls jerseys were not good. Oh, sorry. I was just taking a drink and just absolutely just went silent for like 20 minutes. Went so awkward. Um, all right. Oh, let's hit it with a season kickoff. And oh, uh, Shane. Oh, Shane Batty is worth a ton of VC. That's nice. That's that's really even get some VC in there. Get some VC in the bank. Thank you, Shane Batty, for that. Oh man, we're approaching getting our hundredth player. I mean, for our hundredth player, for that anniversary, 2K's gotta give us something nice. And the white hot jerseys, finally. I've wanted the white hot jerseys for a while, and I've been. I have the back and blacks. Um, I have like the red Miami Heat ones, just like you know the uh, regular ones, obviously. I've been waiting on getting those white hots, cause I know somebody. Um, I know a few people who have gotten them actually, like. And they got them relatively earlier. They got them after first few pack openings. For some reason, I could never get those. I don't know why. I just couldn't. And, okay. So, we got 97 players. Can we bring it to 98? Jermaine Jones will bring us up to 98. Jermaine. And, uh, oh, geez. We're going to be approaching our final 100,000. I usually make a big deal. Just about a 100,000 VC pack opening. Let alone a 500,000. Oh, my God. I can't believe I've been gone through 400,000. 
and uh, Howard Isley is going to be a repeat. It's all good, though. We're just going to open up some gold right here. Hopefully bring in something good. Come on, 2K. We need something nice right here. We've been in a bit of a drought of getting like anybody. It's been about 10 minutes. And, oh, Keith Erickson. I don't know why I say I think I'll leave Erickson. <laughs> Oh my god, but uh, alright, Keith, I, I don't know, like how some of these players get like these sick poses, like why they're like, why they're, you know, for some reason more special that they get these absolutely sick poses where he's like in the sick dunk motion, and uh, Daryl Dawkins is just kind of standing there while Keith is like dunking over. I'm like, well, okay, <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't seem quite fair to the other players. All right, so hundred in. Almost 108,000 left. Let's keep going with these gold. I'm feeling feeling strong about gold right now. I want to get some nice, nice gold right here. Oh, man. We need, we just need a sick player right here. We need an absolutely awesome player. All right, come on. Come on. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I am absolutely feeling this one right here. This is it. And posterizer. Come on, man. That is like, ugh. I hate game posterizers so much. I was just like, oh, because posterizer is always the one that comes out first. That's that's just why I hate getting it. That and finisher, those are the ones that come out first. Ironically, finisher comes out first. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just ugh. those those are just. You see those and you see the gold and you kind of get a little bit excited, but you don't because you're like, this is gonna be one of them, and you just get you just get pissed. That's what happens to me. I just always just get pissed. Same way I get pissed when I get the U.S. Airways. I love the Suns, but I mean, man, I can't handle the U.S. Airways Center anymore. It's just too painful to look at. And, uh, ooh, is this is gonna... No, no, I'll, I'll go with the, um... Ugh, I'm gonna go with this. Come on. And, oh, dead eye. Come on. I'm, I'm feeling this next one. Going into the 100K. Going into the 100K, we're gonna snag it for ourselves right here. Come on. I got this. I got this, man. We're going to get a gold legend. And, ah, uh, Celtics Arena. Okay, so we got voice crack. Um, we got 100,000 VC left. Still chance to uh, make a name for ourselves in this final 100,000 VC. 80% through. That feels so weird. That, this is actually, like, crazy being this far through it. Like, oh, my God. That's, that's crazy. I, I mean, that's just... Oh man, I don't even know. Oh, and uh, John Tom, John Thompson, is having the time of his life over here, appearing in every single pack. Oh man. <clears throat> All right, so get John Thompson out of there. He has no place being here. Open up another purple, and oh, Chase Budinger, he's worth a ton of VC, I think. So that's gonna be good for us. Getting a little bit of VC bank on that one. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Oh, we are our 100th player in Chase Budinger. Oh, I was hoping to get somebody, like, sick for our 100th player. And Chase Budinger's all right, though. And Avery Johnson. The classic Avery Johnson. Yet we can't get David Robinson out of a pack. We have to get Avery Johnson instead. Come on, man. Come on. David Robinson following him up. Oh, that would be nice. I'll tell you that much. Getting David Robinson. David Robinson's one of those people that I forgot to mention for my wish list. David Robinson, 2K. If you can hook me up, man, I'm I'm down for it. Absolutely down for that. It's been about 15 minutes since I have written down a timestamp of getting anything. So <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we've gotten anything really between this last 15 minutes, but yeah, that's uh that's a pretty big drought. <laughs> I'm not really too happy about that. I'd love to see us get something somewhere in between here because this is a little bit frustrating as as you might realize getting absolutely nothing um i feel like that's a, that's been the story of this entire pack opening i'm getting absolutely nothing we need something and then it's just an absolute cycle i get somebody and it's act hype for like you know like 10 minutes and then after that i'm back to being all you know butthurt about not getting anybody so i'll we'll have to see right here i'll we'll have to see how we do we still got a little bit of uh we still got we still got a good amount of vc left i think we can get one more legend hopefully hopefully we get somebody sick right here at the end that would make me so happy I just 
I feel like I need to get somebody sick right now. Oh my god. I want I want somebody good so bad. And oh James Worthy. James Worth. Come on, that's just I I feel like I've been complaining a lot this video. Like I understand that, but like you guys got to give me a little bit of a little bit of I don't know what's you got to cut me some slack. That's what I'm trying to say. Like this this obviously has not been easy. Really, this is this has been a little bit painful. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that 83,000 VC there and I'm going to finish this tomorrow morning because I feel like I've sort of tapped out this kind of uh this I don't know what to call it this time period I guess of legends so I'm gonna hit this right back up tomorrow morning and I'm just gonna get straight back into the commentary I right, guess all right welcome back guys sorry well I guess not welcome back for you guys so I just slept the night and I'm coming back right now I sold Dirk favors and a few bronze legends get myself up to a uh, hundred thousand VC so we're gonna go we're gonna go purple gold 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 like we planned and uh hopefully this is a different rotation that's what i'm begging for right now because um that other rotation absolutely was not working for us um we were getting a lot of we got james worthy like three or four times that was bad oh man so i mean oh walt frazier we get a new gold legend guys we get a new gold legend 40 seconds into this new one all right that oh, i should have fallen asleep earlier <laughs> let's go check out walt frazier i'm pretty sure walt frazier's all right in this game post in the comments guys what does he look like i gotta know this um i was actually just playing as walt frazier i was playing with one of my friends and i was playing as the knicks and walt frazier is pretty nice actually so psyched about this oh my yeah he has a really good inside for a point guard um look at steel steel's nice six kind of reminds me of terry porter and durability offense awareness defense awareness those are all 92s that's pretty good he's got an 88 quickness Where, where's his actual speed i think i missed his speed his speed is an 88 this is he's pretty good i'm actually really happy about getting walt frazier he has a chance to make this lineup again though he's another guard um uh, all right i mean i'm I'm hyped about getting a new gold legend, but we're just gonna have to see if he fits into my lineup. I think he's going to. I I have good hopes for Walt Frazier right now that he'll fit into my lineup. What's that beeping? Um, yeah, so that's good. I'm uh, I'm kind of happy about Walt Frazier. I I really think that um we're gonna get somebody better though. I I think we got 95,000 more VC. I think we have to get one more gold legend. That's kind of how it works, man. And oh, Bill Bradley. Yeah, we're definitely on new rotation. I'll say that much. We would not have seen Bill Bradley last, last night. Not last night. Um, you guys can tell I'm still tired, but I'm hyped. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this pack opening. And oh, I always do that. I always like go down and then I go into players. And oh, Courtney Lee. If I need somebody to make it rain from outside, I can get Courtney, uh, Courtney Lee out there. I almost forgot his name. Um. I forgot Courtney Lee was even still with the Celtics. He, he didn't have a huge year with the Celtics. Like, he was he was an alright role player, but he wasn't somebody who really stepped up and made a huge difference for us. Uh, I mean, I think he, he was definitely a good addition after losing Ray Allen. We brought in Jason Terry and Courtney Lee. And they both have kind of been... They've been, they've been taking over the three-point scoring role, I'll say that much. So, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with them, but I feel like... I don't feel like they. I don't feel like if we lose that, lost them. Sorry, if we lost them, it was gonna like really kill our team. That that's only that's my only critique on them. I don't think they're really like too like incredible for this team. But I mean, obviously Terry's getting older, so we're kind of bringing them in for that three-point relief. I think that's really their main point on the team. And uh, actually, Courtney Lee's an alright defender too. And ah, uh, Paul Molesky, or Molesky, I don't even know. I, I don't take I don't take the time to memorize any of these bronzes names because I have no idea who they were. 
Like, you know, you'll see the golds and you'll be like, oh man, yeah, I know that guy. And then you'll see the, <laughs> the bronzes. The bronzes are just these like ridiculous guys that nobody's ever heard of because they were always the scrubs. There actually have been a few bronzes that I have recognized and they weren't like terrible players. So I was kind of like, oh wow, I, I wouldn't think that'd be a bronze, but yeah, I don't know. Ah, oh, come on. All right, I'm, I'm thinking another gold legend. I'm just saying. Walt Frazier was pretty good, but we need something new, man. So who have we gotten? We've gotten Hornacek, we've gotten LaRusso, and now we've gotten, um, oh my god, I'm forgetting the guy we just got, Walt Frazier. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not really too, I mean, obviously for 500,000 VC, we want somebody of a higher caliber, you know what I mean? But this is alright for now, and Joe Bryant, uh, you are not the higher caliber I was looking for. We've, we've only gone through 22,000 VC though. I always say that we've only gone through like 22,000 VC and then it ends up just being Just ends up being terrible things get really bad really fast. We end up getting nobody in 78,000 VC <sighs> I'm, I'm thinking this purple gold 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 is working out though. I'm gonna keep this going. I'm uh I'm feeling another gold legend. I'm actually gonna go on a nice little gold streak right here See if I can get anybody good. Not dead eye. Come on. Oh, after this, it's gonna be so weird going back to 30k's. Like, that's just weird, man. That's like spending 30k on pack openings. It'll feel so short. Like I'll just like zip through it, and then I'll have nothing else to do. Cause I'll have just gone through the entire pack opening. That's I don't know. That's just this is just kind of weird. I like this. I like doing these huge pack openings. I'm not going to be able to do huge pack openings. I might do, like, once I... I'm going to do a ton of my team, um, just, like, gameplay. And then once I get to a higher seed or I get... I do some sort of accomplishment, I might break the 200 mark since I have it. Or do two 100s. I might do 200. I'm kind of feeling 200. I don't know if more 30... A bunch of 30Ks would be more effective. That's who I wonder. Because, I mean, I've, I have a lot more success, it seems like, with 30Ks. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's my, that's my two cents on that. And what I'm going to do with my, um, what is it? Oh, wow. We, we just got all bronzes in a gold pack? Oh, wow. That's, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of low. It's kind of low 2K. Just me all bronzes in a gold pack. Oh, Brian Stith. I was starting to get, like, I was trying to get kind of excited. I was like, maybe if I get all bronzes in a gold pack, it'll give me something nice after. Bryant Stiff is not what I wanted, though. I will say that much. And, all right, let's hit it with a purple. I'm not doing too many golds. And, oh, we can't even see the guy. Great. All right, we got an invisible player, though. That'll play to our advantage. It's like the Madden 25 demo. <laughs> oh, man. I had no idea who that was anyway, though. Oh, I mean, I should go back to my strategy I was doing yesterday. It wasn't working out incredible. It was working out all right. Trying to get silver or gold out of the purples, then going over to golds. I'm really, I like, I want to see myself get a current right now because the new currents, they're new currents. They're not like the currents I was getting yesterday. They're on a different rotation. And, oh, Omer Sheik. Yes. That is what you call cash money for VC. He's like 21,000 VC. That's nice. That actually makes me so happy getting him. Oh, I did it again going into players. All right, let's try to get somebody good from a gold right here. And Scott Brooks. Scott Brooks, like I said, I see these coaches. He got the gold, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, and then you just, oh, you get so disappointed. Yeah, Scott Brooks is not what I want to see. He is not Shaquille O'Neal, but that's Willie McCarter. All right. Um, oh, I really... Like, guys, I'm, I'm serious with this. If I could get Shaq, this would be worth it. If I could get Kemp, this would be worth it. If I could get, like, any of those guys I mentioned back on my wish list, this would be worth it. And Kevin Duckworth is not on my wish list. <laughs> Kevin Duckworth is, like, the opposite of my wish list. I remember back, like, when I started my team, I didn't like using it. Kevin Duckworth. I don't know. He's, like, he's all right inside, but I just don't, I don't like playing with him. I don't know why. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think he's a good player in this game. And Eddie Johnson, again... Ooh, those Mardi Gras jerseys. I already have those Mardi Gras jerseys, obviously. I wore those in, like, six episodes. I like those jerseys, though. I mean, I know a lot of people think those are, like, gross, but... I don't know. I kind of like them. 
Uh, all right, come on. We need some more. We need some more. Ah, shot creator. I feel like this is going to be a lot better to do. I might do another one of these. Not 500k, but I'll try to do something for 2k14 coming right out the gate. Because I feel like that's going to be a lot better when like, I don't have any of these legends. And I'm like bringing in like... Uh, world be free like the worst gold legend or uh matumbo and being like out of my mind going insane over them i'll probably be going insane over like silver legends or bronze legends at that point really like so that would that would be kind of funny to do because then everybody would seem good right now the time stamps for that would be ridiculous i'd get like bobby jones write it down get joe bryant write down shannon anderson write down i just would not stop <sighs> all right so we are we're a pretty good distance into this pack opening and uh len chapelle uh, i'm gonna open up another purple why not might as well all right come on uh pretty much after the player you don't have to show me anything else in the pack i wish there was a way to just skip through the pack and be like all right we saw it and greg foster come on we gotta stop getting these bronzes in the purple packs <clears throat> if i want bronze i'll go to a bronze pack oh my god i'm losing my voice right now again Alright, so, whew, going to season kickoff on this one, and oh my god, Rod Higgins, whew, okay, we need, we need somebody right here, we need something big, we need something big, we need, we need to pull a brawn out of this pack, or something like that, like, come on, we need something huge out of this purple, something huge like Shaq, and oh, Kevin Serafin, we got him yesterday, I don't know how much VC he's worth, if he's, if he's worth like 3,000, I'll open up another purple, I'll say that. And he is worth... Oh, he's worth 7,000. I, I, I ain't even mad. I'll open up a few more perps. And Brad Sellers. Come on, Brad Sellers. All right, I'll open up one more purple now. Courtesy of Kevin Serafin. See if he can dish us with somebody nice right here. 111 players I got on my team right now. Wow. And, oh, BJ Armstrong. Great. Silver legend, though. Like they say... You know, going in with a Silver Legend's a good thing. Wow, we've gone almost like, we've gone over 10 minutes without getting like anything good. That's actually kind of weird. We've gone into some currents, but um, nothing too incredible. Ugh, come on, Deadeye. None of that. Alright. Let's see what we got going on right here. <sighs> Another gold booster, come on. And oh, Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley's nice. Ah, oof. I think I might sell Avery Bradley. Isn't he like 16k? He's he's a decent amount of VC. I'll say that much. I'm pretty confident that he's like a decent amount of VC. So I don't know. Like Bradley's a good on-ball defender. That that's the one thing I like about him. But yeah, he's um. I don't exactly like. I don't know. I might keep him actually as a Celtics fan you know I, I like Bradley but I just don't think he's one of those players like I said where you take another one of your gold legends versus him and is it really they they're pretty much the same is it really worth paying the extra 8,000 out of the same player because I mean there's players who can play like just about as good as him or I shouldn't say that because if he can play even slightly better than another player then he gets the spot it's worth the 8,000 but sometimes like I don't know players like one's good at defense one good at offense and they're kind of even so I mean in that situation where they're relatively even I think that honestly it's worth it just to get rid of him and use a gold legend because I don't know I mean now if you have like somebody like Melo, LeBron, Harden, um, Durant, Kobe, any of them like they're obviously worth it to keep over like any legend uh, i shouldn't say any legend but most legends that like i would have and we are uh, coming into the ooh, those are actually those are kind of nice christmas jerseys so we're coming into the end of this pack opening and uh 36 000 vc left i'm starting to get scared right now guys i want to get something good please god and Scott Wedman's the last thing I just wanted to see come out of the pack. I'm not even joking. Like, I was going into that pack. I'm like, don't be Scott Wedman. No. But, uh, I'm pretty sure if I open up, like, a purple on the last pack, hoping to get Shaq, and I get Jim King, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to leave. 
I'll just leave this recording going. This will be like a 30 hour long pack opening until my computer dies. And I'll just, I'll just like go in a corner. I, I just, Jim Kings just needs to stop. Or, or Tony Bennett. If I get Tony Bennett, I'll, I'll just be like, oh, this is, this is not, this isn't cool. Nah, that's all I'm going to say. Like, I don't know why you do this to me. 2K. 2K is trying cheese on me with these. Oh, man. We've gone through a ton of EC right here. No pack. I mean, no uh, gold legends. I feel like we're going to get one down the stretch right here. But I'm I'm afraid to say I think I might get a repeat. I'm so scared, but I think I might get a repeat legend. That's what makes me really sad is that I want... I. I feel like we're gonna get another gold legend, but I'm already gonna have him. And all right, we're we're getting some players out of these gold, so I'm gonna keep going with this. I know usually my strategy is I'm starting to get players out of gold, switch over to purples, because that means there's not gonna be many players left. But maybe maybe there's a streak right here leading up to a gold player. Who knows? And ah, uh, Tom Thibodeau just made me. I was about to jump out of my seat when I saw Tom Thibodeau, but ah, uh, you guys can't imagine like. When I get these like repeat gold legends, I start to like hop out of my seat like going crazy. And then all of a sudden I just see who it is and I'm like, oh my god. And I sit back down and I'm writing down my timestamp. Like, this is gonna be like repeats on repeats on repeats on repeats. Okay, we gotta we gotta get something nice right here. We're so close to the end. We can't come out of here with nothing. We're still getting players. I'm I'm still going gold right here. We're getting ton of players and we're down to the final we're down to a 30k vc pack opening here right right here guys come on come on and all oh, lockdown defender come on i'm feeling i'm feeling that like rush like something huge is gonna happen right here like i got that like telepathic sense if that's the right word for it i'm sensing something huge right here come on come on at&t saying i'm gonna switch over to a purple She's gonna switch it over to a purple right here. Help the cause a little bit. Help the cause. Should I just jack on 200,000 more VC? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna save that for a different pack opening. All right, come on. Come on, season kickoff. And Adam Keith, no, no, Adam Keith, no. Oh man, that's like the last, <clears throat> that's one of the last people you wanna see come out of that. Honestly, right now, the last people I wanna see come out of that are any golds, any silvers, except for maybe Robert Pack. That's the only silver I would want. And Lafonso Ellis. <clears throat> oh my god. That's that's what was coming, man. That's what was coming. Oh my god. We get another gold player. Finally. Another gold legend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go check him out. Look at how many look at how many currents we have to get through right now. Yeah, this is gonna make for another pack of me. I'll tell you guys that much. Alright, let's see where he's at. I wonder how far down he is, if he's really far down. Um, oh geez, he's a reasonable amount down. And oh. Oh, okay. This is uh this is not good. He's the worst gold legend on my team. He's uh you got a 92 inside though. Um 75 layup and dunk. Uh yeah, I'll be honest with you guys, he's not gonna be making my roster. Uh he pretty much has zero chance at it. So yeah. Um Alright, I mean, he's not awful. I, I have another person to put on my resume for Gold Legends. So, uh, whatever. We got a Gold Legend. That's all that matters. I'm hoping to get maybe one more Gold Legend. I mean, I know I was just begging to get one more right there. Now I want another. But, I mean, he was kind of an ass Gold Legend. He might be one of the worst, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, uh, alright, we. I'm feeling something. Like, Gold Packs haven't been giving me any love. That, that's where I'm coming from. Where did I get Walt Fra Walt Frazier was actually a gold pack. Like, all of my gold legends have been coming from purples this time, but I don't like to go all purples. I feel like I've been getting a lot of love from purples this pack opening, though. I mean, oh, Tony Roden was not rotten or Roden. I don't know. He's he's not he's not the love from those purples, though. Those are actually nice heat jerseys. I don't know. Those, that kind of, like, weird, uh, almost drop shadow jersey type. Like, I know I've gotten the Laker one a bunch of times. That one, like, they don't, I don't know, those ones aren't as nice. They just look kind of, like, cheap. I don't know why. Like, I know they're just retro jerseys, but they just look cheap, in my opinion. I think that's why they're silvers. But then there's another aspect of them that just kind of look cool. I don't know, that's, that's my opinion on them. And, oh, Harvey Catchings. I don't know what I want to do here. I want to, I kind of want to just finish it up with some purples. It's going to, 
it's gonna carry me into three more purples. If I get like a if I get a sick current right here, I might sell them and keep going, or I don't know. And ooh, CJ Watson. I started to get hyped when I saw it's silver, but CJ Watson's like 250 VC. He's like the terrible silver. I don't know why he exists in this game as a silver. He's not that good, but all right, let's go. And oh, Jared hey, Bayless. Um, Skip Bayless' son. No. Um. All right, so we've got almost. Should I open up two more golds? I kind of want to open up another purple. Uh, all right, let's let's sell. All right, I'm, I shouldn't be cheap. I'm just gonna sell one of, one of these guys for about 500 VC. And then we're going to try to open up one more purple and see what happens. Greg Steams. Oh, jeez. Greg Steams was worth a lot of VC. Jason Smith is out. I'm not selling Dominique. I'm telling you that much. I'm not going to sell Dominique. And, uh, all right. One more purple. Let's go. And, oh, Greg Foster. Uh, I can't end on that. I can't end on Greg Foster, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't. I got to go and I got to open up another pack. <sighs> got to open up another Robert pack. I, I can't I can't end without getting any of those guys on my wish list, but I mean I know I'm gonna have to end without getting any of them probably. But I want to get something out of one of these packs that's at least gonna make me feel a little bit better about this pack opening ending. I just don't want to end on Greg Foster. That's all I'm gonna say. And Bobby Jones, I can't end on Bobby Jones. <laughs> I'm gonna go through like another 200. Nah, yeah, you know what? No, nah, I I just said I can't end on Bobby Jones, so I can't end on him. I got it. I gotta pull out all the stops for one more, one more pack. This is it. This is actually it. This is actually the last pack. No matter who I get, I'm calling it quits after this pack. Marcus Thornton buying me one last pack. And the final player I get in the pack opening is Kevin Lynch. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video. Show, show me some love in the comments, guys. Um post any like methods you want to tell me anything you'd like to see on the channel anytime soon i'd love to see a ton of comments a lot of likes and guys like i said like this up please this took a lot of time and effort so um that'll be very much appreciated all right guys peace i'm out